Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and oh my gosh, I have right in front of me, right here, an axolotl and oh my gosh, I have been waiting for this day forever and I am so excited that this day is finally here and it's crazy that this day is finally here and I've been so excited to share it with you guys and so yeah, if you can't already tell by the title, today's video is my axolotl unboxing okay so basically before i open her i want to talk a little bit about me getting her and kind of go through the process of telling you all about wanting an axolotl and how i got her and just stuff like that so basically i've wanted an axolotl for quite a long time and i've always thought that they were really really cool and really awesome but i never really had a place for them and I was never really in the place to have one. But recently, I kind of started just completely like researching them so much. I watched videos on them, read stuff on the internet about them. And then my favorite thing to do is to just talk to people who own them themselves. Because I feel like you can get the most realist information from people who actually own them instead of just, you know, reading things on the internet and not knowing if some things come from reliable sources or not. Um, so yeah, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and read, read, and read stuff online and then talked to people and some really, really great people such as Jeremy's Wild Studio that's on YouTube helped me so much, so, so much. So thank you, Jeremy. And the very awesome sweet lady that I got my axolotl from helped me so much too. And it's just some other people as well. And I thank you guys so much for your help because you totally helped me get my mind straight together to know what to do and to help me with my research and things like that. So thank you guys. Um, and my axolotl is actually coming from a fan and I'm so thankful. Um, a fan reached out to me because she knew I wanted an axolotl and she actually breeds them and raises them and she wanted to give me an axolotl and I thought that is so freaking sweet. Thank you so much. That is amazing because I mean, that's one less thing to have to pay for because I have to have a setup and all that kind of stuff. So she wanted to give me an axolotl and let me pick it out. So I have been there for like all the stages of just like looking at these guys, picking out the one that I want, seeing videos of them, pictures of them, everything like that. And it's been such a fun process and I will show you those pictures in this video as well. Um, but it's been a really fun process and... I am so excited. I will tell you a little bit more about um, her tank and all that kind of stuff after we open her because I know she's been in this box for a while, but I just wanted to get that stuff out there and let's go ahead and open her and then I will talk more about her. So one quick disclaimer, I'm calling her a her, but she is too young yet to be sexed. So I actually don't know her gender. Um, but because of her name that I chose, I'm just referring to her as a her. And her birthday is August 17th, which is so special because August 17th is going to be my wedding day because I'm getting married um, August 17th, 2019. So that's super special, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna open her now and we're gonna see what she looks like. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I am so freaking excited. I got my axolotl stuff in. So I got this, it's by Fluval. It is a Fluval decor, obviously. Um, I just thought that this was really, really cute. So it looks like a log and I love these leaves because these leaves look very, very close to real. But this is super cute. My only complaint was whenever I got it, I, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than it is, which it's not, I mean, it's my fault, like I could have looked at the dimensions, but I loved it, so I got it. It's okay, I will have more in the tank, obviously. This was just one thing that I had gotten. I just, the way I planned it to be, I thought it was going to be a little bigger. And then I also got these, which I am so excited about. These are Sun Grow Natural Chala Wood. So these little wood pieces right here, um, and I got these both off Amazon, by the way. These wood pieces have tannins that come out just like Indian almond leaves. What I'm going to do right now is actually going to go and boil them to get the tannins out. And the tannins, I'll save the water with it and use it for my fish because obviously tannins are good. Okay guys, so here is the piece of driftwood that came in for my axolotl tank. And 
I am so obsessed. This is what I've been waiting on to kind of complete my tank. Um, it is top thin from PetSmart, so I ordered this off PetSmart.com. I absolutely love it. It was $19.99, but unfortunately $28 with tax and shipping. But still, I absolutely love it. This is fake driftwood, but it looks so nice. It does not look fake at all. And yeah, so this is what I was waiting on. So basically right now I'm going to go to cut off the tag, wash it off under the water, and we're going to decorate the axolotl tank. Okay guys, so it is now finished and I absolutely love it to pieces. I really, really, really do. I'm so in love. The only thing is, of course, it does not have substrate yet, which is completely normal. Um, because my axolotl actually cannot have substrate yet. Axolotls have to be a certain size to have substrate because if they were to have substrate now that they could easily choke on it and such. So my axolotl has to grow a little bit more because it is a baby right now. So it does have to grow a little bit more um, before it can have substrate. And just to throw this out, although I will talk about it more, um, axolotls cannot have gravel. So I definitely will be having Sam, which is my absolute favorite anyway but I really really love the natural theme and I love it so much I just I really cannot wait to add sand because it will really pull it all together and I'll add a few more things like plant looking ordeals but for right now it's absolutely perfect I'm absolutely in love with it and I do not plan on having the tank light on all day just just for warning you I will really only have it on for like an hour or so at night, but I do have it on right now just so that I can show you guys. But I love these a little chola wood, the fake plant or plant and little loggy looking thing in the back, and the fake driftwood, which this is by Fluval, the one in the back, and it looks faker than fake. So I will hide it a little bit with the sand, like the so called wood part. And this one is just by Top Fin, and this fake driftwood looks amazing so fluval especially for your prices what the heck <laughs> but still i love it no matter what i'm so excited and with this design i kind of i tried to kind of replicate the axolotl's natural habitat which obviously i will talk more to but will be a lake in mexico city so i'm trying to kind of incorporate that into the tank as my main kind of design theme and I really, really, really love it. I think it turned out great, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Goodness gracious, I look like a wreck today, but I am so excited. It is 12.04, and it is time to go get my axolotl, and I am freaking the freak out. I'm so excited. I actually have this um, little thing on my phone that is an axolotl right here um so i've been preparing getting really excited um but it is finally time she actually was supposed to arrive yesterday but for some reason the post office was just being slow and she didn't get in yesterday so she's in today and i'm gonna go pick her up and of course i thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along and i'm super excited so let's just go ahead and go get her oh my gosh okay so bad lighting but i'm at the post office and i will show you guys so here is the post office and oh my gosh i got her so i have an axolotl in my flipping passenger seat you guys this is the box um it's pretty heavy and i'm super excited about it so this is in my passenger seat and I'm literally going to be riding home with an axolotl. So I'm super excited. I just cannot wait to get her open and see what she looks like. Um, and I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait. I just don't even know what to expect. I've only seen axolotls in person once. 
and they were even more amazing in person so here comes a person and they're gonna be staring at me talking in my camera okay anyway I'm so excited and let's just go ahead and get home so we can open her okay so here is the box I so here's the box I'm gonna go ahead and like cut her name off just so or her uh, address off I guess just so maybe you can't see it in the video well here there we go I just covered it up just in case um I don't want address to be shown but anyway oh my gosh I'm slicing the box open oh my gosh y'all I I I just oh my god okay okay let's open this oh my gosh insulation ah! oh my god i saw her swimming oh my gosh i'm freaking out from excitement oh my gosh i literally just fell over on my bed she's in here oh my gosh Okay, okay everybody, I, are you ready? Because I literally am just, oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, how is this real? How is this real? Here is my new little girl. She is so adorable. So here she is, the color is obviously revealed, or the type um, is the correct term. So, Oh my gosh, do you see her? Look at her. Say hello, everybody. I'm now an axolotl mom, guys. Why did I just do that? Why did I, what, did, what was up with that? Okay, well here she is and, oh, I just wanna hug her and cuddle her, what the heck? Um, so this is Little Miss Tilly and she is perfect, oh my gosh, so I chose to get a leucistic type axolotl. I, ever since the beginning, I've always loved the way that leucistics looked and albinos as well. I mean, I love all of them, but just that cute little pink frilly girly look, I just absolutely loved it. And I asked you guys also, um, if you have me on Snapchat, I asked you guys for name recommendations um, for her and a lot of you guys gave some amazing rec recommendations and it was so hard to choose a name like so hard you have no idea um and i went between a whole lot of different names and i chose tilly and the reason why i chose tilly was because it was super cute and adorable and girly and i read a really good book that i like and the protagonist or main character's name was tilly so i loved it that's why i chose the name tilly also because of her gills they are really frilly and frilly rhymes with tilly so like tilly frilly and also, I got a name suggestion from Jeremy, who helped me a lot, um, Jeremy's Wild Studio. And he said, like, name it Doctor because they can grow back their limbs. And so, I was like, her full name can be Dr. Tilly Frilly, but I just call her Tilly. But this is her, my little Tilly, swimming around, all happy-go-lucky. Like, she just literally doesn't have a care in the world. Oh my gosh, she is so perfect so perfect but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and let her acclimate to the water of her brand new home okay guys so here she is acclimating in her new 20 gallon tank um so i am going to let her acclimate here just for a few just to make sure and i will be back okay guys so it is finally time to put tilly in her brand new cycled 20 gallon tank and i'm super excited for this and gosh i literally cannot wait to see her actually swimming around in her brand new home i feel like she will feel like an absolute queen and i'm excited so let's go ahead and get her out of that bag and get her in her new home
so here it is. I just want to show you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to scoop her with my hands because nets are not good for them or their gills. She's in. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. Okay guys, so I'm gonna turn on the tank light just briefly for you guys to see her pretty good in there. Um, I'm not gonna leave it on for long, but I will just for you guys to see. So there she is in the back corner, the little cutie patootie. Yeah, swim girl. Get it girl. Swim, swim. Swim, itty swim. You can go check out your new, check out your new home. Okay, so here she is also in the very back corner, and I kind of moved the decorations around just a tad bit, just so they could be a little bit more spaced out. This is not the finished product for her tank at all, but just for right now, while she's this little and I don't have substrate in yet, this is just what I chose to do. Like I said, I will not be keeping the light on. This is literally just to show you guys, but there she is. She's so cute. She's got to get used to her new big home. But she is adorable. She is so, so cute. You go, girl. You swim it. You get it. You go. <laughs> Apparently, she likes that corner, but that, that that's cool. She has the right to like that corner. Oh, my gosh, camera. Stop focusing on the driftwood. I think she's coming around the corner. Is she or is she just hiding? She may not feel like being on camera right now. She's probably like, Ugh, I'm just so tired. Can you not put me on camera after my long journey? I need to rest first. Nope, there she goes. She's going back to her corner. <laughs> How sweet. She is so precious. You can see her in the reflection. <laughs> but she's just, she's kind of hiding. That's okay though. See, that's okay. I see her little eye. Do y'all do y'all see that? Hiding right there. Say so she's just hiding. Okay guys, so now that she is all in her brand new home and is just kind of getting used to it, I figured I would come back over here and just talk to you guys a little bit about her. Um, as I stated that I did get her from a fan who breeds and raises. Um, these little guys and I was so thankful for that and I told you a little bit about her name too and why I chose it but it was so funny because like I said I got so many awesome name suggest suggestions from you guys and it was so funny I did a couple of polls on Twitter and I really just wanted to read those out to you I did a few polls first of all um, choosing for people to choose the name so i did a few different polls on twitter just to see what you guys thought about the things that i picked out for my axolotl such as what type of axolotl i chose and the name and it was so funny so i did the poll and i will put that right up here but it was what name did i choose for my axolotl and all these names were contenders and ones that i loved with all my heart um and they were Maybell, Magnolia, Kiwi, and Tilly. And I'm going to insert this right here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. So, Tilly only got 6%. Uh, Maybell got 25%. Magnolia got 31%. Kiwi got 38%. And Tilly got 6%. So, everyone, like, literally apparently did not think that Tilly was going to be the name. And Tilly is the name. And I was looking at that poll and I was just like, well, okay. Okay, so I also did another poll, which I will insert here in a second, but this poll was me asking you guys on Twitter what type of axolotl you guys thought I was getting. And the choices were albino, leucistic, wild type, and melanoid. 
and I will go ahead and put those results too right here and yeah so most of you guys thought I was getting an albino 22% um, said leucistic 28% said wild type and 17% said melanoid but I in fact got a leucistic and that is the pink type with black eyes that is how they're mostly described they're all individually adorable but just that pinky kind of white look just completely like stole my heart and albinos can look pinky too but they're more yellowy kind of it just depends but they also have different eyes because they are albino but I just I just that's that's what I loved and I was so excited that she had some and I literally was so excited the day I got to pick out Tilly it was a hard choice um, they all look very similar but just her like little expression on her face just completely like drew me in but I also will go ahead right here and insert the pictures all through the process of me seeing her axolotls that she had that I saw throughout this process of choosing so I'm gonna go ahead and insert those right here but yeah, I'm so thankful. And with her tank, it is a 20 gallon. It is fully cycled because axolotls do not have eyelids, so they cannot like close their eyes. It is not good to have like a bright light at all times. So that is why I will not have my light on um, unless I'm just like taking a picture or showing you guys or just for like a short period of time at night. But I am going to get her a hide as well just to rest her eyes for I mean, just for the occasion that I do have the light on, even though it will not be for long. But I am looking for highs right now. It is a little bit hard when I'm shopping on the internet because I do not have um, a pet store near me. I just have PetSmart, which I refuse to go to because, like I've said before, I worked there and had a very bad experience. Not with the company, but with the people there. Um, so, it takes me a while to be able to go to a pet store, you know, that has hides so on the internet even with dimensions and just stuff like that i i like to see it in person but i'm working on it and i will eventually soon get one of those as well so there will be some more changes to the tank but i'm super happy with how it is now with my chola wood my fake driftwood and my other little fake driftwood little plant thing as well <laughs> but i absolutely love her and i have so many awesome axolotl videos that i have in my mind planned out to make because i found out some awesome stuff while researching and i cannot wait to make those for you guys so let me know if you'd be interested in that down below and really other than that i'm about to just show you some more cute little footage of tilly and wrap this video up here is miss tilly <laughs> Show your face, girly. Come show your face. You can just see her pretty tail. Her thick tail. She thick. Hello, cutie. I love those little frilly gills. You're going to be queen of your new home. Queen of the castle. Use a precious girl. Okay guys, so like I said, I cannot wait to make more axolotl videos. I am super excited about it. So let me know if you want to see anything in particularly down below. I have a lot of cool ideas and I cannot wait to make them. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the unboxing and me setting up her tank and just all that kind of stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for me and Tilly and all my other pets, which you can do by hitting my face right up here. And if you'll please hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right down here and it would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you guys all have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video.